Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are diving into a captivating problem involving binary series trees, recursion and dash of creativity. So our challenge today is to generate all possible unique binary series tree, BST, that can be constructed using n nodes, uh, numbered from 1 to n. And it might sound complex at first, but I promise by the end of this video you will find it both understandable and fascinating. So. Uh, let's look at uh, examples. So we have uh, these examples and we are given n equals 3 and we need to output this array that represents all a binary search tree. And all of those are representation of BSP, so binary search tree. And if we start from the root, uh, the property of BST is that on the left, uh, the value is always smaller and on the right value is larger. So if we start from one uh, and we want to put some number uh, into the right because we have two, uh, so we can put two here. And then we can put three here, but uh, it's impossible to put three here because three is larger than two. So it should be on the right. And if we have one, we can put here for example, three. So then uh, we cannot put uh, two here because two is smaller than three. So we put uh, two here. Also, we can start from uh, other root. So given uh, two here, we can put one here and three here because three on the right uh, is bigger and one on the left. And uh, opposite way is also not allowed. Okay, so now when we are understand what is uh, BST, let's uh, briefly discuss uh, the approach. How can we uh, solve this uh, task? So uh, if our start index surpasses the end index, we need to return a list containing known. So this uh, is an empty tree and form the base of our recursion. So for every number uh, in the range from start to end, we will consider it as a root of the tree. And then we will recursively generate all possible left subtrees using number from start to i minus one. And similarly, we will recursively generate all possible right subtrees using number from i uh, plus one to end. And for each combination of left and right subtrees, uh, we will create a new tree with i as the root and append it to our uh, list of all trees. And finally, we generate uh, and return the list of all uh, three generated. So let's dive into the Python code and implement it. And then I will uh, explain it step by step. So uh, return self generate three if and else empty. So uh, then we have generate self start end if start greater than end return known so as mentioned before and uh, all trees will be empty and for i in range start and plus one so uh, we initialize an empty uh, list uh, with all trees to store all the possible unique binary search trees that can be constructed with the given range of number uh, from start uh, to end. And then we are choosing the root. So for i in range start to end plus one. So in this loop, we are considering every number from start to end as the root of the tree. Uh, and the variable i represent the value of the root uh, node for the current mm, iteration. So now uh, left three will be self generate three start i minus one and right three will be self generate three i plus one to the end. So for the current uh, root uh, i, we make recursion call uh, to generate all possible left subtrees using number from start 
to i minus one and the result is stored uh, in the left tree which is a list of all possible left uh, subtrees and uh, same we do uh, generate trees uh, and call generate for all possible right subtrees uh, starting from i plus one to the end and the result is also stored in uh, right trees uh, with all possible right uh, subtrees so now uh, come the fascinating part we have a list of all possible left subtrees and a list of all possible right subtrees so we need to combine uh, this to create a complete binary search tree uh, with i as a root so or L in left trees and for R in right trees root three node root left L and root right R and all trees append root and finally return all trees okay so uh, we look through uh, each possible subtree L and each possible subtree right, so R. And for each combination, we create a new tree, uh, I, so root uh, three node I, and uh, we set uh, root and uh, L as left child and uh, R as right child. And we then append this new newly created uh, tree to our list of all trees. Uh, let's call all trees. <laughs> and uh, this double loop ensure that we explore all possible combination of left and right subtrees for the current uh, root. And uh, finally, uh, final result uh, is list of all trees which we uh, return uh, given the range of our uh, numbers. So. Okay, so now let's run uh, our code to verify everything's work. So I'm running it right now. Uh, it's working and let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well. Uh, yeah, and there you have it. We have uh, successfully completed the task and our implementation beat 97% with respect to uh, runtime. So it's quite efficient and 27% with respect to memory. And there you have it, a creative and elegant solution uh, to generating all unique binary search uh, trees so uh, it's problem like this that make programming uh, such a thrilling adventure so if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe for uh, those uh, interested uh, in other programming languages you will find the corresponding course in the description below and until next time keep practicing stay motivated happy coding and see you next time